Maintaining a Confluence space can be a bit of a pain. Over time, more and more content gets added, and it becomes more and more cluttered. Updates from a year ago are hanging around, and maybe they aren't necessary. Maybe there's a whole bunch of pages scattered around the space that are never used. Now, to figure this out, you have to talk to folks, or you have to go look at each individual page to see when it was last opened, or how many people are viewing it, or if the content is fresh, or even if there is a page owner who is still at your organization. This can take a lot of time, and usually means it might not be worth it to go through every page individually. Fortunately, there's something called the Content Manager that lets you look at multiple pages and see important things like when it was last opened, if it's been updated in the past year, or even filter out pages that have an inactive page owner. So we're going to take a look at this feature because it is really, really good for speeding up our ability to manage our space and has saved me a ton of time. So let's jump into Confluence and see what the Content Manager is and why I think it's so useful. Here we are in a Confluence space. And over on the left, I'm just looking for the content manager. It also exists in space settings. So if I come in here, I'll have it right up here at the top. Now, content manager is available to premium and enterprise clients. So if you're using the free version, you won't have access to this tool. But if your organization uses it, fairly sure you're going to have access because they'll be above that free tier. I'm just going to click on it. And what it's going to do is just open up a view of my space. It's going to look almost the same as my space tree down here in the bottom left. There's some minor differences like these little checkboxes. But the really important and useful bit of this is the information on the right here. Right away, I can see when a page was last updated. This is something I can go find. For example, if I open up a page, I can view its page history to see when the last update was made, who did it, etc. However, I don't want to do this for every single page. So having it available in this content manager lets me pretty quickly go and find pages that might need to be refreshed. I also can tell when it was last viewed. This is really useful because there can be pages that haven't been used in months or years. This suggests that they're not needed or they need to be updated in some way. And I also have the total number of views in the past year. This is a good indication of how popular the page is. Even if it was updated recently, if it hasn't been used a lot, maybe that's a good argument that we don't need the page and it can be removed or even deleted. Now there are two filters we have access to right up here. We can see inactive pages. And this is a page that hasn't had a view, a comment, or an update in some time period in one week and then in one, three, six, and 12 months. So this lets me quickly find pages that need some attention, whether that's attention getting updated or even archived or deleted. This will show me what those pages are. And then I can also say pages without active owners. This is a great feature because it lets me hunt down pages that maybe I need to transfer the owner. Maybe they're inactive or they haven't been going to the page because the page owner is the person that people should go to for questions about that content. And if they're no longer at the organization or if they're not being responsive, that can make it hard for folks to get help with the content they need. Now this goes one step further and lets me take action directly from here on the page. I can archive or delete it right from the content manager instead of having to go to the page or find it in the tree on the left. And this can take out the entire branch or just individual pages. I can also multi-select, so if I click on any one of these checkboxes, it will select that entire branch. Or if I need to, just say once, and once I free options pop to the top here, I can bulk archive, delete, or even trigger automations against bulk pages if I want to make some kind of update, reassignment, etc. So I find it an incredibly useful tool for first identifying pages that I might have to give some attention to, but also to go take action directly from your bulk archive, bulk automate, find those pages that I need to do something with. Nutshell, it is a wonderful tool for managing content. I highly recommend that you take a look at it. I found it very useful, for, especially for bigger spaces or for spaces that lots of people use for important information. For example, my HR, human resources page, or even my space that has a lot of how-to articles or FAQs. I want to make sure that content is fresh, and this is a great way to go in and get it. So go check it out. Again, it's available for premium and enterprise customers. If you like this, like it and subscribe and drop comments down in, in the comments section with your questions or other ideas on how you maintain your Confluence space. Thanks for listening to this and I look forward to seeing you here again soon. Mm -hmm.